because uh, we've heard quite a lot of voices already in France saying that the French government should not sign the immigration pact. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, Odile. Yes, thank you for your question, Odile. Now, before I call Johannes up to the podium, could I just reiterate that we condemn uh, with the greatest firmness this terrorist act which took place in France last Friday. Obviously, this sort of violence is absolutely unacceptable wherever it takes place in the world, including in Europe. As President von der Leyen has said, we've sent our condolences to his family and to the French people in general. But uh, we have a special thought for teachers in France and across the world. Without them, it's quite clear that it would not be possible for citizens to exist or for us to have democracy. Now, when it comes to the question on GAFA, I'm going to ask or Johannes to comment on that and any other activities which the, committee, the Commission could undertake. Yes, good afternoon, Eric. Well, obviously, there are lots of parts to this question when it comes to our work. It concerns uh, terrorism work, where my colleague would perhaps be better placed to say a word or two. But I'd just like to start by recalling that so we've got the online code of conduct, which is in force, which includes a number of platforms amongst its signatories. And the question of... Uh, removal of hate content. More than 90% of content is removed within 24 hours of it being posted. Also, we work very closely with member states and Europol and other players in this area. So this is something we take very seriously indeed. As you doubtless also know, soon we're going to be making a proposal for a Digital Services Act. So a law to deal with online services. It's not just against uh, terrorism, I have to stress that, but its aim is nonetheless to set up standards when it comes to illegal online content. So online content, terrorist content online, and other forms of content too. So that's why I can say at this stage... But perhaps uh, Adelbert could actually tell us a bit more about this. Yes, thank you. Let me give the floor now to Adelbert for the second part of your question on migration policy. Adelbert. Yes, thank you. Well, perhaps I could just start by responding to Johannes' uh, encouragement to say something about online terrorist content. I'd like to say that there is a EU Crisis Protocol, which is an initiative concerning Member States, Europol and companies that's to say internet platforms and this Crisis Protocol was activated by the French authorities on the 16th of October. They asked Europol to identify and to help them uh, remove content linked to, to this attack, in particular the pictures of the victim. Europol did exactly that. The protocol uh, continued to be activated until the 18th of October, and 65 instances of that content were identified on nine platforms. So what action was taken to stop that uh, content being disseminated. When it comes to terrorist content online more generally, I'd just like to recall that in 2018, September 2018, the Commission proposed a regulation on online terrorist content, and its aim was to ensure that that content could be taken down within an hour. Negotiations between the co-legislators are still out of way on this regulation. We think it's necessary for us to make progress urgently on this proposal. And so we support the co-legislator very actively. 
and a trilogue has been scheduled for next week. So that work is underway. And then finally, on your question relating to the Migration and Asylum Pact, now I don't know whether I need to comment on this specifically or to make any specific uh, links between migration policy as a whole and this terrorist act, this criminal act. We continue to work with member states on a migration policy which would be sustainable and fair for member states but also for migrants too. So the work is underway, and we're working there very intensively indeed. Yes, thank you very much, Albert and Johannes. I'd just like to know if there are any further questions on this subject. Based, um, if you have a question on, uh, on these issues for the moment, we will come back to other issues afterwards. So I see three, two hands raised on this issue, and first is Nima. Nima, you have a question on this issue. Please press speak. Hi, uh, hello. Oui, bonjour. bonjour. Uh, no, I don't have a question. I did. I raised hand. Uh, I have a question about Iran. Actually, it's not. Uh, I didn't raise hand. I didn't. I raised hand before. Actually. Yes, exactly. But you need to unraise it um, so that we can focus on the issue. We'll come back to that uh, later. So, George, you seem to have a question on this um, on this issue. George Kakouris. No mic. Please press speak, if you can. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, the question the question I had raised the hand at the beginning is for a different issue. It's on the infringement procedures. Yeah. If you don't mind, uh, I wanted to see first whether there were other other questions on this. Okay. I do not um, I do not see um, any, um, and I will therefore open the floor to other uh, other issues.